بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از لیکچر نمبر 15 دی نیم آف دا پیپر از کریٹیسزم 1 وی ہیو بین اسٹڈینگ ارسٹاٹلز پوئٹکس اینڈ ان پوئٹکس وی ول ڈسکس ٹوڈے ارسٹاٹلز کانسیپٹ آف ٹریجک ہیرو دس لیکچر از اسپیسیفکلی فار دی اسٹوڈنٹس اف بی ایس انگلش ففتھ سیمسٹر جی ڈی سی پبی اینڈ اٹ از آلسو فار دی اسٹوڈنٹس اف دوز کالجز وچ آر ایفیلیٹڈ وتھ عبد الولی خان یونیورسٹی Uh, in the introductory paragraph, this one, <coughs> we will learn that the function of tragedy is to arouse these two emotions, pity and fear, and then to effect the catharsis of these two emotions. This is uh, the function of tragedy, and this uh, function can be performed, or in other words, these two Uh, emotions can be aroused and then catharsis can take place only if the tragic hero has specific characteristics. If these characteristics are missing, then there would be difficulty in arousing these two emotions and then affecting the catharsis of these emotions. The first quality the tra tragic hero must have, according to Aristotle, in order to arouse these emotions is goodness. which has its special meaning here, and we will discuss it, appropriateness, likeness, and consistency. All these apparently uh, give you one meaning, but the Greek uh, 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 took another meaning from them, a little different as compared to the meaning we take from them. We will also learn in this uh, question, that a completely bad person or depraved person is uh, not good to be taken as a tragic hero because uh, of the reason that we cannot identify ourselves with him and as a result the emotions of pity and fear are not aroused and purged. The <clears throat> uh, next option is, which is again uh, not allowed in uh, tragedy, is that a completely perfect person is also not fit for uh, becoming a tragic hero because again we cannot identify ourselves with him. So therefore there should be an intermediate sort of person um, just like us uh, who suffers in the tragedy uh, and we can identify ourselves with him. And uh, along with all these characteristics he should have hematia, which means the error of judgment or tragic flaw. So these things uh, will be discussed uh, down here. The first characteristic a tragic hero must have is goodness. <coughs> goodness according to Aristotle means that uh, the tragic hero and his words and his actions they should reveal good purpose behind them. Whatever he does, his intentions should be good. So this is what is meant by goodness. And uh, Aristotle thinks that the spectators, uh, the audience and the spectators, they have balanced moral attitude. And having this balanced moral attitude, they can identify themselves with a person who has that balanced moral attitude, like the one who shows good intentions, whose words and actions both show good intention. And uh, as we can identify ourselves with him, the feelings or the emotions of pity and sympathy will be aroused. This, uh, these are aroused only if we can identify ourselves and for the identification Uh, the spectators are taken to be uh, as having balanced moral attitude, just like the uh, tragic hero. An entirely bad person is not fit for tragedy because uh, we cannot identify ourselves with him. Because as we said here, that uh, uh, the spectators are considered as having balanced moral attitude. by Aristotle, and this identification with the entirely bad person is not possible because the audience is not completely bad. A normal human being 
has some flaws but on the whole he is a good human being bad characters can be involved in the realization of good actions of the tragic hero uh, so therefore uh, there is uh, the place of uh, a bad character like iago uh, in the context of aristotelian concept uh, iago is the bad character in uh, othello and uh, uh, in order to realize the characteristics of othello uh, in this drama we have a bad character like othello this possibility is here in the concept or aristotelian concept of a tragic hero there have been different controversial views about this word goodness different people believe different things about this word goodness corneal for example he says that goodness means magnificence telford uh, thinks that uh, goodness means the one who is dramatically effective and uh, lucas tells us that uh, goodness the meaning of goodness in uh, uh, greek uh, people uh, they believed that goodness means one of these characteristics courage truthfulness temperance temperance gentleness liberality magnificence and even wittiness if you uh, have one of these characteristics according to uh, the greek dramatist or according to aristotle you are considered uh, having goodness in you so this uh, goodness or uh, this uh, virtuousness is not based on the virtuousness we have in christianity or in our religion because in that sense the character will become undramatic because a good character in that sense in the christian sense or in our religion sense will have humility he will have modesty both of these characteristics are undramatic so as a result drama would not be effective therefore uh, these critics believe that goodness doesn't mean goodness as christians think of it or as we think of it it means these characteristics for corneal it means magnificence for telford the one who is dramatically effective is called good and uh, lucas thinks that the greek uh, people believed that courage truthfulness temperance gentleness liberality and magnificence even wittiness if you have one of these you are uh, referred to as a, the person who is a who is a good person so this was uh, all about uh, goodness let me do it in urdu now ye introduction mein hum pad rahe hain aristotle's concept of tragic hero ke tragic hero kaise hona chahiye to <coughs> tragedy mein humne padha ke tragedy ka function hai to arouse pity and fear aur phir is pity aur fear ki catharsis to ye tab arouse hongi aur catharsis bhi tab hoga jab ट्रेजिक हीरो में ये क्वालिटीज होंगी गुडनेस अप्रोप्रिएटनेस लाइकनेस कंसिस्टेंसी ना तो वो कम्प्लीटली बुरा हो ना वो कम्प्लीटली अच्छा हो बल्कि वो दरमियाने किस्म का बंदा हो जिस तरह आम लोग होते हैं और इसमें एक हेमाटिया भी पाया जाता हो जो कि ट्रेजिक फ्लॉ है लेकिन ये एरर अब जजमेंट है यानी वो फरकने में गलती कर जाता है ये कोई आ, ऐसी खामी नहीं है तो पहली पहला जो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक है वो गुडनेस है कि ट्रेजिक हीरो में गुडनेस होनी चाहिए और गुडनेस का मतलब ये है कि उसके अमाल और उसके अल्फाज ये अच्छा पर्पस जाहिर करें यानी इसकी नीयत ये अच्छी हो मसलन ईडिपस की नीयत अच्छी थी जब वो भाग रहा था अपने वालदे से तो नीयत में अच्छा होना चाहिए और वो ये कोशिश कर रहा था कि वो पेशन कोई पूरी ना हो सके जिसमें कहा गया था कि वो अपनी माँ से शादी करेगा और अपने अबू को मारेगा तो गुडनेस जो है एक मीनिंग इसका ये है और ये अरिस्टॉटल इसलिए लेता है कि वो समझता है कि एक 
تماشائی اسپیکٹیٹر اس کا مارل ایٹیٹیوڈ اخلاقی رویہ یہ متوازن ہوتا ہے اور وہ جس ہیرو کو دیکھتا ہے یہ اس میں بھی متوازن ہونا چاہیے ورنہ تو یہ جو دو ایموشنز ہیں یہ اراؤز نہیں ہوں گے کیونکہ جو اسپیکٹیٹر ہے وہ اپنے آپ کو ہیرو کے ساتھ آئیڈینٹیفائی نہیں کرے گا تو یہ اراؤز نہیں ہوں گے اور اس کی وجہ یہی ہے کہ پھر آڈینس یا اسپیکٹیٹر اس کے ساتھ اپنے آپ کو آئیڈینٹیفائی نہیں کر سکے گا اگر مکمل طور پہ برا شخص ہو تو اس کے ساتھ بھی ہم اپنے آپ کو آئیڈینٹیفائی نہیں کر سکتے کیونکہ بطور تماشائی ہم بھی انٹائرلی بیڈ نہیں ہیں تو بیڈ کیریکٹر ویسے تو انوالو ہو سکتے ہیں گڈ ایکشن کو ریئلائز کرنے میں گڈ ایکشن کو حقیقی جامع پہنانے میں تو یہ چانس تو ہے کہ اس میں کوئی بیڈ کیریکٹر ہو اور لیکن یہ اس لیے ہوگا کہ وہ جو مین کردار ہے ٹریجک ہیرو اس کی گڈ ایکشنز کو سامنے لائے تو یہ امکان تو ہے کہ ایا گو جیسا کردار جو کہ شیکسپیئر کے اوتھلو میں پایا جاتا ہے اور جو اوتھلو کے ذہن میں جیلسی ڈالتا ہے تو ایسے شخص کا چانس ہے ٹریجری میں لیکن یہ اس لیے ہو کہ ریئلائزیشن ہو گڈ ایکشن کی مختلف ویوز مختلف لوگ رکھتے ہیں کارنیل کرٹک کہتا ہے کہ گڈنس کا مطلب ہے میگنیفیسنس میگنیفیسنس کہتے ہیں شان کو گلوری کو بریلینس کو ٹیل فورڈ کہتا ہے کہ گڈنس سے مراد ہے ڈرامیٹکلی ایفیکٹیو جو ڈرامائی طور پہ پورا سر ہو لیوکس کا خیال زیادہ مناسب لگتا ہے اور وہ کہتا ہے کہ یونانی لوگ گڈنس کا مطلب یہ لیتے تھے کہ کسی شخص میں ہیبیچول پوزیشن ہو عادتاً وہ رکھتا ہو ون آف دیز ورچوز ان ورچوز میں سے ایک کوالٹی اس میں کرج ہے بہادری ٹروتھ فلنس سچائی ٹمپرنس برداشت جینٹلنس شرافت نرمی لیبرلٹی آزاد پسندی میگنیفیسنس شان گلوری اینڈ ایون بٹینس اور عقل مندی اور یہ ساری کوالٹیز تو یہ جب ہوں گی تو گریک بندہ کہے گا کہ یہ گڈنس رکھتا ہے گڈنس کا مطلب جو کرسچینٹی میں ہے یا جو ہمارے مذہب میں ہے وہ نہیں لیا جا رہا ہے کیونکہ اگر وہ لیا جائے تو پھر تو وہ آجزی کرے گا ماڈرسٹی اختیار کرے گا اور یہ دونوں ان ڈرامیٹک کیریکٹرسٹکس ہیں تو لہٰذا اس گڈنس کا مطلب ایگزیکٹلی exactly وہ نہیں ہے جو ہم لیتے ہیں یہ ایک انٹرمیڈیٹ سارٹ آف بندہ ہوتا ہے اور اس کے ساتھ ہم اپنے آپ کو آئیڈینٹیفائی کر سکتے ہیں تو یہ ایک گڈنس اس کی ایک کوالٹی ختم ہوئی دی سیکنڈ کیریکٹرسٹک وچ دی ٹریجک ہیرو مسٹ ہے ان آرڈر ٹو اراؤز پیٹی اینڈ فیئر اینڈ افیکٹ دی کتار سیز آف دیز ایموشنس از اپروپریٹنیس ونس اگین دس ورڈ ہیز بین انٹرپریٹیڈ ڈفرنٹلی اکارڈنگ ٹو سم کریٹکس اپروپریٹنیس مینس ٹرو ٹو ٹائپ اینڈ ٹرو ٹو ٹائپ مینس دیٹ دی کیریکٹر دا ٹریجک ہیرو شون ان دی ڈراما must be true to their particular age, the age uh, in which they are represented or of which they are represented and they should be true to the profession with which they belong, to the class they belong and to the sex and status to which they belong. So true to type means that the person who belongs to a particular age is represented as equivalent to that age. So if some person, somebody belong to, let's say, um, to the third century or the fourth century or whatever the century is, then he should be represented as having those characteristics which were there in that age. Then 
if a character who belongs to a specific profession for example doctor for example teacher professor then this character should have the qualities of that profession in it this is also true to type then true to type also means for example if someone belongs to the upper class then the characteristics of the upper class should be given to that character then sex for example if a female character is shown then her characteristics should be given that means true to type and the same is the case with status for example kings if they are represented uh, their qualities should be given to that character as a result if a woman is shown as brave then that would not be appropriate because we often do not find a woman bravery in a woman there can be brave women but we often do not have them and the same is the case with grandeur shown in a slave if uh, we show a slave which is grand this is not impossible but this is not probable and aristotle uh, doesn't like something which is not probable so he doesn't like grandeur or uh, uh, greatness in a slave so this is the meaning of true to type uh, and then actions of the people of the same type also differ this is individuality for example if we take uh, professors so one professor has individuality in the sense that his actions would not be the same as the actions of the other professor or if we take a doctor the action of one doctor will differ from the actions of another doctor and here lies the individuality of the person this individuality is also shown in uh, the choices these people make for example a doctor might make the choice of uh, helping the people and another another doctor might uh, take the choice of uh, earning a lot of money so these are the, the different meanings uh, of this word appropriateness uh, the other critics believe that appropriateness means appropriateness to historical and traditional portrait of the time for example if someone is represented and he uh, is present in history then the history tells us some of the characteristics of that person and the uh, tragedy writer the playwright the dramatist uh, he should give such characteristics to that person who historically had them or traditionally had them so therefore ulysses must be characterized as he is represented in historically so if ulysses is shown as a fool then that would not be appropriate because ulysses was very witty was very intelligent and therefore that would not be correct so appropriateness for ulysses would be that those qualities are given to him which he historically had so this is meant by appropriateness isko urdu mein sune appropriate to waise munasib ko kehte hain tarjume ke lihaz se lekin aristotle ke mutabik iska matlab hai true to type aur true to type ka matlab ye hai ke jis shakhs ko aap hero represent kar rahe hain tragic hero wo agar kisi khaas zamane ka guzra hai to us zamane ke mutabik iski qualities ho agar kisi khaas peshe ka guzra hai to us peshe ke mutabik ho agar kisi khaas class upper class middle class ka hai to uske mutabik ho sex ke hawale se male female ke hawale se usi ke mutabik ho status ke ye badshah hai ke ye lower grade ka hai uske mutabik hongi to hum kahenge true to type hai maslan agar aurat hai to us ki usme bravery ko dikhana 
ये इनअप्रोप्रिएट होगा ये अप्रोप्रिएट नहीं होगा क्योंकि अमूमन ब्रेव नहीं होती हो भी सकती है लेकिन अमूमन नहीं होती इसी तरीके से स्लेव ये अमूमन ग्रैंड नहीं होते गुलामी की आदत उनमें डल गई होती है <coughs> और वो अजीम शान नहीं होते हो भी सकते हैं लेकिन ये अक्सर नहीं होते तो वो ये क्वालिटी स्लेव को नहीं देगा और इसका मतलब ये नहीं होगा कि इसके किरदार टाइप बन जाएं और इंडिविजुअल ना बने ऐसा नहीं है क्योंकि अगर हम एक पेशे के लोगों को ले लें तो उनकी भी क्वालिटीज तो अलग अलग हो सकती हैं वो एक तरह तो बिहेव नहीं करते मसलन एक डॉक्टर की दूसरी डॉक्टर से बिहेवियर अलग होगी एक प्रोफेसर की दूसरी प्रोफेसर से बिहेवियर अलग होगी तो ये इंडिविजुअलिटी चॉइसिस से बनती है कि एक बंदा किस चीज की चॉइस करता है कुछ क्रिटिक्स का ख्याल ये है कि अप्रोप्रिएट का मतलब ये है कि जो हीरो आप शो कर रहे हैं वो हिस्ट्री के मुताबिक हो जिस हिस्ट्री में उसकी जो क्वालिटीज गुजरी हैं मसलन यूलिसिस तारीख में बड़ा अक्लमंद गुजरा है अगर इसको बेवकूफ जाहिर किया गया तो ये अप्रोप्रिएट नहीं होगा क्योंकि ये हिस्टोरिकली ट्रू बात नहीं निकलेगी तो ये दूसरी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है अप्रोप्रिएटनेस जो होनी चाहिए किसी ट्रेजिक हीरो में दी थर्ड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक व्हिच द ट्रेजिक हीरो है मस्ट हैव इज लाइकनेस एंड लाइकनेस मींस दैट दिस ट्रेजिक हीरो शुड हैव लाइकनेस टू द ओरिजिनल इफ अ पेंटर फॉर एग्जांपल इज पेंटिंग समवन then this painting should have likeness to the original he if he is portraying someone from the history then that person should be the person of the history or like him or if he is taking it from the legend then he, this character should be uh, represented or uh, should be presented to the people as it is in the legend the best of these weaves is the one which says that the character should be true to life true to life means life like so if it is true to life then it becomes easier for the spectator to identify himself with him and as a result the uh, pity the two emotions of pity and fear are easily aroused so therefore the main character the tragic hero should neither be too good nor too bad because we are neither too good nor too bad we are intermediate sorts of sort of people and the hero should be like this so that identification becomes easy for us aristotle says that tragedy should imitate people which are better than real life yes that is uh, there is no contradiction in this and saying that they are true to life because people shown in the tragedy might be kings they might uh, be generals or uh, people in the high status but they should be life like so there is no contradiction in saying that life like and better than real life they uh, should re- have resemblance with the real uh, and again they of course have uh, more active and full life because uh, the dramatic character should be more active and uh, full of life so this is that uh, next characteristic likeness ye agri characteristic hai tragic hero ki um, aristotle ke mutabik aur likeness se murad hai likeness to the original asal se uh, mushabihat painter agar kisi ko paint karta hai तो असल से उसकी पेंटिंग मुशाबहत रखती हो अगर हिस्ट्री से है तो हिस्ट्री के मुताबिक मुशाबहत रखती हो अगर किसी लेजेंड से है तो उस लेजेंड और कहानी से मुशाबहत रखती हो एक भी ये है कि लाइकनेस का मतलब है ट्रू टू लाइफ ट्रू टू लाइफ का मतलब ये है लाइफ लाइक कि वो ऐसा हो जिस तरह जिंदगी में होता है तो ये ज़रूरी है क्योंकि अगर ऐसा ना हो 
تو پھر ہماری آئیڈینٹیفیکیشن اس کے ساتھ نہیں ہوگی کیونکہ نہ تو ہم زیادہ نہ تو ہم بالکل اچھے ہیں سو فیصد اور نہ ہم بالکل برے ہیں سو فیصد تو ہم انٹرمیڈیٹ ہیں اور اس کو بھی انٹرمیڈیٹ سارٹ آف پرسن ہونا چاہیے ہاں ارسٹوٹل کہتا ہے کہ ٹریجیڈی امیٹیٹ کرتا ہے بیٹر دین ریل لائف والے لوگوں کو تو اس میں اور اس بات میں کوئی تضاد نہیں کہ وہ لائف لائک ہو مثلا ٹریجیڈی میں کنگ یہ بیٹر دین ریل لائف ہوتا ہے تو وہ اگر ریپریزنٹ ہوتا ہے تو لائف لائک ہونے میں تو کوئی حرج نہیں ہے نہ اس کے ساتھ یہ تصادم رکھتا ہے تو ریزمبلنس وتھ دا ریئل ہو ایکٹیو اور فل لائف گزارتا ہو اور یہ ڈرامیٹک کوالٹیز ہوں اور یہ اس میں ہونی چاہیے تو یہ ہمارے تین کوالٹیز ہو گئی ہیں ایک ہم نے گڈنیس کو پڑھا دوسرا اپروپریٹنیس تیسرا لائکنیس کو اور یہ تیسری کوالٹی اس کی ختم ہوئی دی فورتھ کریکٹرسٹک آف دا ٹریجک ہیرو اکارڈنگ ٹو ارسٹوٹل از کنسسٹنسی کنسسٹنسی مینس دیٹ ہی شوڈ بیہیو یونیفارملی فرام دا بیگننگ ٹو دی اینڈ ہیز کیس شوڈ ناٹ بی دا کیس آف اے پرسن ہو از ریش ناؤ and cool minded after some time it would become then inconsistency so he should be consistent if the dramatist wants some person who is inconsistent then his inconsistency should be shown consistently so he should be shown inconsistent <coughs> right from the beginning up to the end this again would be this inconsistency will become consistent so people if they are to be shown inconsistent they should be shown inconsistent consistently to ye next quality hui ke kisi uh, tragic hero mein consistency honi chahiye wo jo behavior rakhta hai usme yaksaniyat honi chahiye shuru se aakhir tak aisa na ho ke abhi pal mein wo tola aur pal mein masha ابھی وہ تیز ہے تھوڑی دیر کے بعد کول مائنڈیڈ ہے پھر پھر تیز ہے یہ صحیح نہیں ہوگا ہاں اگر ہم کسی شخص کو کنسسٹنٹ شو انکنسسٹنٹ شو کرنا چاہتے ہیں تو ہم نے پھر اس کو لگاتار یعنی کنسسٹنٹلی انکنسسٹنٹ شو کرنا چاہیے تاکہ وہ لگاتار انکنسسٹنٹ ثابت ہو تو یہ ایک کنسسٹنسی چوتھی کوالٹی تھی جو ایک ٹریجک ہیرو میں ہونی چاہیے نیکسٹ کوالٹی ٹریجک ہیرو کی ہے ہی شوڈ ناٹ بی پرفیکٹلی گڈ بیکاز اے پرفیکٹلی گڈ کیریکٹر از دا ون ود ہوم وی کین ناٹ آئیڈینٹیفائی آر سیلس اینڈ وین وی آر ناٹ آئیڈینٹیفائڈ دی ٹو ایموشنز آف پیٹی اینڈ فیئر آر ناٹ اراؤزڈ سینٹ لائک کیریکٹرس فار ایگزامپل آر ان فٹ فار ٹریجڈی بیکاز نارمل ہیومن بینگس آرڈینری ہیومن بینگس آر ناٹ سینٹ لائک اینڈ آف اے سینٹ لائک پرسن سفرس آر سینس آف جسٹس از شاکڈ پی ٹی از ناٹ اراؤزڈ پی ٹی از ڈراؤنڈ اینڈ وی آر شاکڈ سو دیر فور اے پرفیکٹلی گڈ کیریکٹر ڈزنٹ ہیو اینی پلیس ان ٹریجڈی بیکاز ہی ڈز ناٹ کمٹ اینی مسٹیک and uh, therefore he is not fit yes uh, there were some writers for example gb shaw and ts eliot uh, in recent times and they have written successful dramas with saints for example uh, eliot wrote murder in the cathedral that is the drama of thomas pickett who is a saint so they were able to represent saints as tragic heroes and they were very successful But uh, Aristotle, you know, was talking from the dramas of his own age. Uh, and in Greek uh, dramas, we do not find any saint uh, being used as a tra tragic hero. So if we come to uh, the dramas uh, later on, for example, Shakespearean drama, we have the characters of Desdemona. othello's wife she is a completely good woman and she is killed by othello she suffers cordelia king lear's uh, daughter 
and uh, the one who is a very perfect character she still suffers and Shakespeare is successful in arousing our pity for these two characters so in this case Aristotle is not totally correct then comes the characteristic of uh, tragic hero should not be a perfectly bad man as we have discussed over and over again uh, if a villain uh, dies or if a villain is punished and suffers tragically uh, the tragic effect is not produced and uh, our sense of justice is satisfied we think that it was good that uh, uh, that death was uh, justified and he deserved it so our sense of justice is justified is satisfied i'm sorry um, however in modern dramas in the dramas of shakespeare for example we have such characters who were completely bad people for example macbeth he breaks the law of hospitality and loyalty kills uh, his own guest the king king duncan under his own roof in his own home and uh, he then kills his uh, uh, friends and many more and he is not a good person uh, however he has that quality of bravery which is considered good by the greek writers because he courageously draws a sword in the face of certain defeat he knows he will be defeated but he fights like a brave person and dies so um, uh, macbeth um, had a sort of grandeur uh, though he was a villain but even in his in his villainy he used to be a very courageous person and uh, our pity is aroused in the sense that we think a very great personality was wasted then comes that the tragic hero should be intermediate sort of person like you and me because intermediate sort of person is uh, neither perfectly good nor perfectly bad and uh, though he may be more intense in the drama but uh, the identification with him is easy easily done and therefore uh, this identification leads to the arousal of pity and fear and then catharsis and then uh, this tragic hero should have hematia in him hematia is the tragic flaw also called fatal flaw and uh, the third name is the error of judgment and the next step hematia so uh, bradley calls it the tragic flaw and lucas and butcher critics uh, they think that uh, this flaw is not any moral failing he is morally not a bad person but this is a kind of error which he commits in judgment his judgment goes wrong he judges misjudges something and therefore um, there is no depravity in him this is this is not something which is a sin done intentionally as is the case with Oedipus so therefore the tragic hero should have hematia in him i think this uh, lecture is going to be very long and uh, it's better to divide this lecture into two um, videos so up to this uh, it is enough and we will do the next uh, the three ways in which hematia can rise in uh, the next video to isko ab hum english mein padhte hain aur is question ko jiska naam hai aristotle's concept of tragic hero hum do isso mein divide karenge ye ek video ho jayega aur next video mein hum ye padhenge ki hematia kisni tarah se ho sakta hai to ye aakhir mein humne consistency padha ki jo kirdar hai tragic hero hai usko lagatar uniform hona chahiye apni khususiyat mein is tarah na ho ki pal mein tola aur pal mein masha ho aur tragic hero perfectly good bhi sahi nahi hai kyunki hum uske sath apne aap ko identify nahi kar sakte saint like character dramatic character nahi hai agar ye gharak ho jaye to hamari hum shock ho jate hain aur pity fear arouse nahi hota perfectly good character jo hai ये वो है जो कि गलती नहीं करता और जब गलती नहीं करता 
तो फिर हम आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर सकते लेकिन हैरानगी की बात है कि जी बी शाह ने और टी एस एलियट ने सेंट सी को ट्रेजिक हीरो लिया है और उनके ड्रामे बड़े सक्सेसफुल हैं और टी एस एलियट ने मर्डर इन द कैथेड्रल में टामस बैकेट सेंट को लिया है और उसकी लाइफ पे कामयाब ड्रामा बनाया है इसी तरीके से शेक्सपियर के ड्रामों में उथलो में डेस्टिमोना उथलो की वाइफ है ये बिल्कुल कम्प्लीटली गुड कैरेक्टर है कॉडेलिया किंग लियर में लियर की बेटी है कम्प्लीटली गुड कैरेक्टर है दोनों जब मरती हैं तो हमारी पीटी अराउज होती है और अगर ये जस्टिस भी शॉक सेंस ऑफ जस्टिस भी शॉक होता है लेकिन पीटी भी अराउज होती है और ये इसमें सक्सेसफुल रहे हैं ट्रेजिक हीरो अगर परफेक्टली बैड होगा तो ये तो अच्छी बात नहीं होगी तो ये परफेक्टली बैड नहीं होना चाहिए विलन नहीं होना चाहिए वरना फिर ट्रेजिक इफेक्ट आप प्रोड्यूस नहीं होगा और हम मुतमिन हो जाएंगे कि ये अच्छा हुआ कि ये मार गया तो मॉडर्न ड्रामा में अलबत् ऐसा हुआ है कि कम्प्लीटली बैड इंसानों को लिया है मकबत कम्प्लीटली बैड है वो हॉस्पिटलिटी और लॉयल्टी के तकाजे को पूरा नहीं करता डंकन जो इसका रिश्तेदार है बादशाह है उसको मारता है अपने ही घर में और फिर भी इसका किरदार एक किस्म की पिटी हमें अराउस करता है जब ये बहादुरी के साथ तलवार निकालता है उसको पता है मुझे मैं मरूंगा लेकिन वो लड़ता है तो ये क्वालिटी उसको बहादुरी की क्वालिटी उसको बहादुर अच्छा किरदार बनाती है ताहम वो कंप्लीट विलन है उसमें पिटी इसलिए अराउज होता है कि हम समझते हैं कि देखें किस तरह एक किरदार एक ग्रैंड किरदार ज़ाया हो गया है तो फिर होना ये चाहिए कि ये जो किरदार है ये इंटरमीडिएट सॉर्ट ऑफ पर्सन हो जो दरमियाना जिस तरह हम लोग हैं उस तरह हो तो हमारे लिए आइडेंटिफिकेशन आसान हो जाएगी और ये कि उसमें हेमाटिया होना चाहिए ये ट्रेजिक फ्लॉ है लेकिन ल्यूकस बिचर कहते हैं कि ये असल में कोई अखला की कमज़ोरी नहीं है बल्कि फैसला करने में या फर्क में उनसे गलती हो जाती है और इस वजह से ये मसला होता है दिस लेक्चर विल कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑल्सो विच इज लेक्चर नंबर सिक्सटीन इन विच वी विल स्टडी द्री वेज इन विच हेमाटिया कैन राइज सो फार वी हैव स्टडीड दीज आइटम्स लेट मी रिपीट डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द ट्रेजिक हीरो द ट्रेजिक हीरो शुड हैव गुडनेस इन हिम द गुडनेस फॉर द ग्रीक राइटर्स meant something different from what we meant by goodness he should have appropriateness and he should be <coughs> appropriate to the particular age profession class sex or status he should have likeness likeness to the original he should be consistent he should not be rash now and cool minded the other moment he should not be perfectly good he should not be perfectly bad he should be an intermediate sort of person so that our pity and fear are aroused aroused and he should have hematia in him so that's uh, all about the uh, tragic uh, the concept of tragic hero uh, of aristotle thank you and good luck